so I recently passed the CompTIA Security Plus certification. It took me roughly about 30 days to get prepared for this. So in this video, I'm going to show you what that process looked like for me. So this would include why I decided to pursue the Security Plus certification, as well as what resources I used to prepare to sit the exam. I'll also uh, give you my opinion on how the exam itself was for me. So if this is something you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned in this video, I'm going to kind of take you through the process I use to help prepare myself uh, to pass the CompTIA Security Plus examination. Uh, be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I share a bonus tip that will really give you that competitive advantage in terms of preparing and making sure you're fully prepared for the exam itself. So first off, I'm going to explain why I decided to pursue the CompTIA Security Plus uh, certification. So one of the main reasons was that it was a vendor neutral certificate, meaning that it didn't deal with any specific technology. It was just a general broad overview of the security uh, landscape in general, right? So some vendors like Cisco, Microsoft, etc., they uh, specifically have certifications dealing with their technologies, right? However, However, CompTIA in general, their certifications are just vendor neutral, right? And it covered a wide range of different security domains, right? So some of the security domains covered in this uh, certification was uh, threats and vulnerabilities, um, what again? Uh, architecture and design, governance, risk and compliance, you know, a bunch of different security domains it covered, right? So I'm going to actually leave a link in the video description for you to see what particular uh, security domains are covered in this uh, exam and certification. Yeah, but that was one of the main reasons because it was vendor neutral and it gave you really a broad overview of the security landscape. Secondly, it's a well-respected certificate, right? So CompTIA certificates in general, they are well-respected in the industry. So internationally, they are well-known, they're accepted, right? So if you were to study that, uh, in some country, let's just say India or my country, Trinidad and Tobago or the United States, and you were to migrate and go to another country, chances are the that credential would be accepted there because it's pretty well respected. Uh, respected and accepted globally right also specifically this is actually approved by the united states department of defense right uh it's approved training and certificate so if you wanted to pursue like a specific government job you know this would be greatly beneficial for you having a CompTIA certificate and if you're dealing with security specifically the security plus certificate and last but not least it's a pretty low barrier to entry meaning there are no pre requisites to uh, uh, attempt this exam or certification you know uh, so pr pretty much anyone you know could study and sit this exam once you're comfortable with the uh, information and the knowledge right but um, they do recommend you have come here do recommend you have at least two years IT experience but it's not mandatory so you could simply you know you know just study like uh, a couple months or whatever 30 days like i did you know once you once you're comfortable with the material and you think you have a shot to sit it you know there's no requirement so very low barrier to entry and also that's definitely a big plus for the certification and just throwing this in there as you guys know i am kind of more focused in my career in a more security cyber security uh focus arena right so um the security plus it's a great starting certificate um i actually have my master's in cyber security uh if you're interested in seeing that video i'll link it somewhere in the description you know feel free to check out that you know but i still wanted to get these certifications because i do believe they have their part to play and they, re they are relevant as well so uh, definitely it was a good beginner certification or a good foundational level certification i would say for anyone interested in cyber security or security in general so just to give you some specific information about the exam itself uh, in terms of questions it comprises of 90 questions and you have 90 minutes to answer these questions right so it's like about a minute 
per question you're looking at so definitely a tight you know deadline not, not really much uh, time to waste in terms of you know writing this exam right so 90 minutes 90 questions about a minute per question so in terms of the format of the exam itself it's predominantly a multiple choice exam right so uh, for those of you who like that kind of format you know that's good news for you right so uh, but there are a few uh, scenario based questions in there right so you kind of need to learn a bit of command line a little bit of how the Linux uh, you know syntax looks like in terms of security uh, how switches routers you know just kind of general information how the GUI would look there but so there are certain scenario based questions there but as I said like 95% or more of the exam is uh, multiple choice the exam itself is marked out of a thousand right and you need at least 750 to pass right so out of that thousand mark you need at least 750 in order to be considered uh, certified and pass the exam and last but not least the cost of the exam itself is 400 us dollars right so i think there may be some slight variances based on your region where you're you know sit in the exam but it's just like a few dollars so uh, it's approximately 400 us dollars and this is for the exam fee itself right so if you just want to purchase the exam voucher right this is for that right they do have some other bundles and packages with additional resources like uh, learning resources study guides practice questions etc in my case i just went with the exam voucher itself because i think you know and as i'm going to share here shortly there are a lot of free resources out there that you guys could use so you don't necessarily need to purchase these additional uh, things bundles right so 400 us dollars that's the price of the exam so in terms of the resources I used to study for this exam, at the top of the list would be Professor Messer, right? And if you look on YouTube, you know, a lot of people would kind of share the same sentiments. Professor Messer, he does some of the best CompTIA training out there. And the best part is that it's free of charge, right? So you could actually go over to his website professormesser.com or you could search on YouTube and there you'll be able to find he has a playlist of just security plus uh, exam um, sorry security plus training videos right so don't worry about it I'm gonna leave a link for all these resources I'm gonna talk about in the video description so you could feel free to grab it from there if you need to but yeah his base his uh, training was structured in like bite-sized video clips so like two minutes, five minutes, you know, 10 minutes, you know, but really small chunks that were digestible instead of watching like half an hour, hour straight uh, videos, you know, these were much more digestible for me. So this was like my bread and butter in terms of studying for the exam. So another great training resource I used was a video on YouTube and the guy's name, I, I hope I don't, you know, kill his name, but it's Pete Ziga. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't worry, I'm going to leave the link in the video description. But yeah, it's an exam cram, security plus exam cram video, like 10 hours long on YouTube that he created that does a pretty good job of going through the material required for the security plus exam and certificate, right? Uh, so how I used his video in particular was like when I go for walks or runs in the morning, I would just, you know, put it on, on put them on in the background and just listen to them, you know, while I did my workout and stuff like that. So it was a bit different from Professor Messer. His one, I kind of intentionally looked at the videos. This guy's one, I kind of just let it run in the background and uh, if that makes sense, you know, subconsciously or, or actively at times, you know, listen to his content. So how it worked like for me, whatever I missed in Professor Messer, I would kind of get it on this guy's video, Pete Ziga, and whatever I missed with his uh, vice versa, right? You know what I mean, right? So yeah, those were the two main training resources I, I used. I didn't need the book, you know, there's the official Cybex book, stuff like that. If you're a fan of reading, feel free to check that out. But these two resources were great for me within the month that I used to prepare for the exam. So in terms of practice tests, you guys, you want to do practice tests, right? Uh, 
because you know just to get a general feel of the CompTIA environment right so this is actually my third CompTIA certificate the last one I did was like 11 years ago CompTIA has a way of how they kind of phrase their questions and you know just the simulations and everything so even though you know the material sometimes going in they are not being familiar with the environment and how they word their questions it might be a bit intimidating for that you want to do some practice exams right two of the one the best ones that i use and i recommend is one done by a guy named jason dion right a lot of other youtubers mention him as well so his course is uh practice exam sorry is in udemy i'm gonna leave a link down below where you could get that and he it comprises of six practice exams so it's basically like how the real exam would be a simulation based the timer is there right and you have to actually go through it and at the end of the exam you will get your mark whether you passed or fail and you have the opportunity to review the, the questions after you know and you could go through the explanations of why this exam this question was correct why this one was incorrect right so yeah jason dion you know there's his it was a total of six practice tests he that he has it cost me like 20 us dollars and i think it was totally worth it right so you know feel free to pick up that or take a look at that if you're studying for this exam one thing i would say about his practice test was they were a bit wordy i saw some other youtubers mention the same thing as well you know there was a bit it was a bit wordy and lengthy in terms of questions but i still i think it's still worth it because it actually gives you a feel of how the uh an exam environment would be so another great practice resource and actually my favorite one i like this one more than jason dion's one was an app a mobile app and the name of it was security plus exam cram and this is a mobile app by easy prep right so i use it on my android device I, I i'm guessing it might be available for apple uh, devices as well too right i'm gonna leave a link for it below as well so don't worry trying to because there are a bunch of different apps so i'm gonna leave a link for the specific one so what what's good about this one is that it actually takes you through the training like different modes i would say so there's the exam mode where it takes you through entire exam it gives you the simulation i should say and at the end of the exam you would be able to know if you passed or fail and you know which questions you got correct or not another mode it has is where while you click while you select your answer it actually tells you immediately if it's correct or wrong um so that was great for me because immediately i knew if it was something incorrect and it gives you a nice explanation below why it was incorrect or why it was correct so you know it was great kind of doing it that way as well instead of waiting till the exam is finished you know to, to um you know figure out whether you did it correct or not so that was my favorite practice simulation uh, resource as well you know for the exam and as i said i'm going to link it below so feel free to check out that so do those were basically the four things I use Professor Messer, the other exam cram by Pete Z Ziger. That was my video uh, tutorials that I use. And in terms of practice and simulations, I use the Jason Dion one on U Udemy and the mobile app from Easy Prep on the Play Store. So, what was the exam like itself? So, initially, the first set of questions, I would say like four questions were those scenario based questions right i don't know if it might be the same for you but that's how it was for me and guys these things were actually harder than i thought you know i kind of underestimated these scenario based questions and to be honest with you i realized i was spending too many too much time on some of these questions so you know what i did and i would recommend you doing is i flagged the question so you have this option where you could flag a question and go on to the other questions and when you're finished you could come back and review that and see you know if you could answer it uh, then right but yeah i actually flagged i think it was like one or two of these scenario based questions because i literally for myself like five minutes just on one of these questions and i flagged them and after i finished all the multiple choice questions i came back to them and again i would emphasize for the scenario based questions you want to kind of have an idea how a firewall would operate how um you know a linux command would look you know how a firewall look wall a log sorry would look right so you want to be able not just multiple choice but you want to be able to 
uh, prepare yourself for the scenario based questions as well secondly the multiple choice questions uh, they covered all the security domains so you know as i mentioned earlier it's a really broad view of the security uh, landscape yeah so for the security quest multiple choice questions they covered every single domain right so you can't say you're gonna learn uh threats and vulnerabilities but you're not gonna learn grc right you 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 can't do that you know it's not possible because it's a weighted score for the entire exam right so you need to be able to answer and be comfortable with all the security domains right so i saw that for myself in the exam i i knew that already but you know it kind of just re-emphasized yeah you need to make sure you learn all the different security related technologies and last but not least that 19 minutes flew by right so in theory it kind of sounds like a lot of time but it flew i literally uh has, finish the exam with three minutes to spare you know i was thinking i'm gonna ease this i'll have like 30 minutes 45 minutes to spare i literally had three minutes to spare so um you know that's saying something so i would say guys yeah really manage your time for the exam because 90 minutes sounds like a lot but while you're in there answering questions it's not trust me right and as i said what could help you too is flag the questions you're unable to answer right away and feel free to come back to them after the fact so here is my bonus tip for studying and passing this exam right so while doing your studies and preparing for the exam and you're doing your practice questions take note of the ones you realize that you're you're kind of lagging behind them, right so whichever ones you're mostly getting incorrect you know kind of take note of them uh, it could be, you know, just a note paper part or whatever, however you want to take note of it. And uh, what I would advise you to do once you identify wh which ones you're most uh, not that familiar with, then refer now to the actual exam objectives, right? So the exam objectives, they would have the topics, the subtopics that you would need to study to pass the exam, right? So familiarize yourself with what you're weak in, then cross-reference this to the exam objectives, right? So for me personally, I needed to focus more on reviewing authentication and authorization design concepts. That was the official topic for this on the, in the exam objectives, right? So I basically kind of honed in specifically, you know, my efforts to that you know after being prepared in the rest of areas you know and that greatly helped me you know because after honing in and putting some additional effort there you know I, I was able to answer these questions in the practice exams and come exam day I was able to answer these questions confidently right so as I said identify your weak points reference them to the exam objectives and once it once and then focus and hone into your weak points you know and it sounds simple but a lot of people kind of miss this and just kind of just go all over the place you know so this is definitely if i hadn't done this i could definitely see me failing the exam so that brings me to the end of this video so i'm interested in knowing guys are you currently studying for the security plus exam you know what is your motivation is it something like me you're just looking for a vendor neutral something low barrier to entry uh, stuff like that you know i'm interested in knowing also did you find these tips useful at all are you currently using any of these resources you know let me know down in the comment section below and remember if you like this kind of content in general cyber security related content uh computer networking system administration you know why not consider subscribing to the channel you know i try to put put out weekly videos where i discuss these sort of technologies as always thanks again for viewing see you soon